Nick Frosty. Maybe in the future I am. No, no, no. I posted a video about my cheap foldable bike and got an interesting comment. There are some points that I think I can learn from. Okay, I'm going to read the comment. I prefer my bike because I believe it has a higher gear than yours. Mine's a 92 inch top gear. What's your chain ring and cassette sizes? 46T front, 14 to 32T rear. If so, the top gear will be very low. Good for PCN but not for any higher speeds. Our bike's weights are about the same. Slow bikes, but great for workout. More than capable for PCN, but a struggle on the road. Okay, there are many points in his comment. I will go through them one by one. The first one being that uh, he's, he says that he prefers his bike because he thinks that uh, his bike has a higher gear than mine. Right? I think this, this preference right, of his is uh, linked to the last point that uh, he, he is looking for speed. I think he wants higher speed. That's why uh, he needs a higher gear to go faster. But whether it is true that his bike has a higher gear, we will find out later. Okay, let's go to the second point. Okay, the second point he says that uh, his has a 92 inch top gear. Actually, I'm not quite sure what it means at first. I had to do a bit of a Google search because I'm not very, um, I'm not an expert in bicycles and gears. I think it refers to the, the, the length of the chain, right? So in total, uh, his is 92 inch. I'm not sure how long is mine. I didn't measure, right? It's kind of hard to measure also, I think. Yeah. The next point he has is uh, actually a question. He's asking uh, what's the chain ring and cassette sizes. Uh, and and he, he's guessing that uh, the front is 46T. The back is uh, 14T to 32T. Alright, so I had to actually also Google search a bit what does uh, 46T mean. The T right actually stands for teeth. I actually counted right one by one, go through the, the entire chain ring circle and counted um, 48 on the front chain ring. There are 48, so it's a 48T in the front. And at the back, I also counted. Um, um, the smallest gear actually has uh, 14, yeah, 14 teeth, and the largest rear gear has 28 teeth. So at the back is actually 14 to 28 T. The front is 48 T. Okay. So here's why you need a bigger chain ring in front to go at a higher speed, right? So if you notice right that when you put your gear you, you, you switch your gear shifter to the highest number okay for this bike is seven seven speed bike so you put a seven the chain will actually go to the smallest gear and that's when you are cycling at the highest speed right so if you you start if you are from a stationary point and you want to start moving and you put your chain to the smallest gear you find that you need a lot of force to move on so you actually put your chain to a higher um, a bigger, bigger 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 gear size right uh, so lower number but bigger gear size so you will start Pedaling and you will start moving from a stationary position, right? You start moving. So as, as you gain speed, right, you will change your gear shifter to a higher number, and the chain will actually go to a smaller chain, and then you pick up speed. As you go faster and faster, you would shift the, sh the, gear, uh, the gear shifter higher, and the chain will go to the smallest gear size, and that's the maximum speed that you would have hit, right? And if there's a maximum speed there is isn't any higher that you can go, you would have to depend on the chain ring in front, right? And there's a possibility to change your chain ring. To a bigger size and not a smaller, but <laughs> for the front, it's, it has to be bigger. Then you will be able to go faster. So, I believe that's how it works. <laughs> oh man, this is getting too technical. I just want to cycle, enjoy the breeze, look at the scenery. Uh, not really going for speed. For speed. Maybe in the future, I am. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Give a thumbs up. And I will see you next time.